Hey everyone! Before we start, let's first talk about Eve's items and roots. And the first item I'd go for is Boots of Mana. One of Wildrift's newest item, Boots of Mana is really good on Eve since it gives her ability power, mana regeneration, move speed, and M pen, increasing her overall damage and helping her in the early game. After this, we go the Lich Bane, has good synergy with Eve as well, giving her AP, ability haste, move speed, and a Spellblade passive which she could use at the same time with her third skill. After this, the third item we go for is Rabonan's Death Cap, giving her a lot of AP, and once you're able to complete this item, you would be able to one-shot those squishy carries in one combo, as long as you're able to charm them. Then the next item is a flex, depending on their team comp, you would go for the Void Staff if they have a lot of magic resist, but if no one's building MR, Infinity Orb is a much better choice, since this would increase your damage a lot more with the crit that this gives. Last item depends on the opponent, but usually I'd go with the Banshee's Veil because this would give you a spell shield so that you wouldn't get caught by any targeted CC like Camille Ult, Annie Ult, or Vi Ult. You could also go for the Rift Maker or Crystal Reflector depending on their team composition. The enchantment that I go for is usually Protobelt. This allows me to easily chase down targets, but if they have a lot of crowd control or people want to assassinate you like Zed, you could go for the Stasis Enchant. Going to the runes, the first rune that I would go for is Electrocute. You'd want to focus on the highest damage rune, and this would help you burst your target faster. I tried First Strike, but it doesn't synergize well with Eve's kit, since her burst comes from the first hit, which has anti-synergy with what First Strike does. Then the second rune I'd go for is Sudden Impact. This is really good, giving Eve more magic penetration, and she could use this by just her third skill. This also works with her ultimate, and that is why this is such a good rune on her. Then we go with the Mark of the Week. This has great synergy with Eve. Once you're able to charm their target and get some damage down, the additional attacks of your first skill will deal additional damage as well, proccing this mark. Last rune for the domination, we will go for the Eyeball Collector. If you're able to get a takedown, you would get more AP, and the more AP, the higher your burst. You could also go for the Zombie Ward, but usually I buy Yellow Trinket on Eve since I am invisible and the only wards that I need to worry about is the control wards which can easily be seen. Secondary rune that I go for is Coup de Gras. When the enemy champion has low HP, I will deal more damage and this is perfect for Eve because when we get our opponent on low HP, this would amplify the damage of our ultimate. So that is it for Eve's items and runes and I will see you guys in game. Going to the game, I'm going to be playing Eve Jungle and show you how broken she is with the new items and runes. In this matchup, we're currently up against Kha'Zix and in an Eve versus Kha'Zix, this is pretty much even with Kha'Zix specializing on taking down isolated targets and Eve specializing on bursting enemy targets. When it comes to the 1v1, Eve should have a slight advantage due to the burst damage of her ulti, but once Kha'Zix is able to complete his Edge of Night, Eve is going to have a much harder time. The clear that I'm doing is a blue side clear into a full clear because when you're playing this champion, you'd want to get level 5 as soon as possible. When you get your level 5, you'd have access to your ultimate and you would be invisible, meaning that people cannot see you even though they have a yellow trinket. This is very abusable and you could use this advantage to easily gank overextended lanes. Eve's clear is one of the fastest because she would be able to go for a full clear even with the scuttler before the 2 minute mark. That's why she's really good when it comes to the jungle clear, much much faster than Kha'Zix when it comes to speed and I would be able to outpace the Kha'Zix early when it comes to the clear. While clearing, I'm always looking at the map for things that I can go for. Of course, if you want to go for a fast 5, it doesn't mean that you wouldn't mind the rest of the map. If there's a lane that can be easily ganked, you could sacrifice some of your farm in order to gank that lane. See how fast I'm clearing right now? I'm already at my 4th camp at the 125 mark. I still have my smite. And once I get the red buff, the Krugs will be the only one left. And Kha'Zix, I saw him in the bot scot. My team is doing a great job denying the Kha'Zix of getting the scuttler. They even got the kill. And this would give me a free scot plus a free leash. Look how fast Eve's clear. I already finished all of the camps at the 150 mark. 
and I'm still far from level 5. I just cleared the two small krugs and this should give me level 5 at the 2 minute mark. Once I hit this, I get the Boots of Mana and the reason why I go for this rather than the Lich Bane first is because Boots of Mana has really good synergy with Eve's Kit giving me magic penetration and 60 ability power which is huge for an AP champion. I see that Scott is up. Once I take this, I'm always looking for lanes that I could go for and looking at the map, I realize the easiest one to go and gank. Kha'Zix is at the mid. Hopefully, Jace gets a Z. They go for a 1 for 1 trade. And this is perfect timing. Ariel is overextended. No more HP. I proc the charm. And I don't even wait for it to finish. Since Ariel is too low. And we could just burst her in one combo. After taking her down, my top side camps are up again. And I start farming them. I still have my ultimate. So I could go for another gank top. Because as much as possible, when you're playing Eve, you'd always want to gank when your ulti is up. I'm just waiting for my blue before I start it and I have no problems clearing my camps pretty healthy and quite fast. With Irelia showing up top, she's most probably gonna cancel the Nasus and as soon as that happens, I immediately run up top. I have all of my skills available. Nasus just needs to buy time and not die. And once she's out of position, we go for another catch. First skill, third skill, and she's dead again. This is the power of Eve. I really can't do anything and the opponents in general can't overextend when they're up against an E. Their trinkets won't even work. They have to buy the control trinket in order to see my ganks. I'm able to buy Sheen giving me a bit of a power spike, amplifying tome to increase my damage overall and I go for another full clear. My ultimate is still up so I could go for another gank as long as I haven't used it yet. Then. Eve's potential is very very scary. The only time you shouldn't be scared of Eve is when her ultimate is on cooldown. Likewise, when you don't have ultimate or when you use it for escaping, this is gonna be a huge blow to you. That's why in the early game, you need to make every ultimate count. Taking the red buff seeing, and seeing that Scott is gonna spawn soon, I position myself bot. I see that Seraphine and Ezreal are quite low. Even though Kha'Zix is there, I just wanna catch someone. We go burst the Seraphine. She gets a good ulti, but we have our own ulti to counter that and escape at the same time. Jace goes in to the Zed. My team is still fighting. Kha'Zix and Ezreal pretty low. I go for another burst and look at the power of mana boots. If I didn't have mana boots, my damage should have been much lower. But thanks to the new item, we're able to get a lot of kills. 5-0 early. And this is every assassin's dream, snowballing the game. Because once I'm able to secure this dragon by my item, I would have a lot more damage. Before, when you play Eve, you would usually power spike at the 2 to 3 item mark. Now, you just need Lich Bane plus Rabadon plus the mana boots. Then, your damage is gonna be really strong. We buy the Lich Bane, buy the Blasting Wand, go position myself onto the Rift Herald. Kha'Zix hasn't started it yet, which is good for me. Nasus was able to buy time. Even though he falls down, it's well worth it because they haven't taken the Herald and it's something that I can get. I try to look for Kha'Zix but I see Irelia at the top side with no mana plus HP. We go and burst her. Look at that damage. I don't even need my charm and I can burst her just like that. We immediately start the Herald. Dragas is zoning the Kha'Zix and Seraphine. Hopefully we're able to clear this before they arrive. I hit the backside. And wait for the last hit with my third skill plus might giving me more damage. We safely secure the Herald. We get a kill. I use my ultimate for safety just in case Seraphine has ultimate to try and catch me. After taking the Herald, I go back to my own jungle. Go for another clear. And this is a beautiful start. Especially if you're an E player. When your ultimate is on cooldown, you just want to farm your camps. Unless there's a lane. That can be easily be ganked. Your ultimate can also serve as an escape tool. Even though you don't use it. Once you, If you have it, then you're gonna be very hard to be taken down. Zed goes for a combo into the Jace. Jace was able to dodge the uh, shuriken. And thanks to the zoning, we get a free mid tower. Looking at the bot side, I want to see if I could catch the Ezreal. 
And lo and behold, he face checks. I slow him with the smite, go in with the third skill, and look at his HP. Just disappeared. And we should be getting another free tower. Nasus falls down top. I think he got gank. But overall, we still should have the advantage since we're able to get free plates plus a kill. Seraphine is trying to defend, but knowing that she has no one with her, she has no choice but to leave the tower. Irela shows up with Seraphine. I decide if I should go back or wait for the Irelia to engage. I play it a bit safe. I recall onto the bush just in case Irelia decides to go and Kaisa is able to bait successfully. I'm there to take her down. Jace shows up bot and that's why I play more aggressive. Flash in and look at the damage that I deal. 698 crit and that's just Eve with Lich Bane. I don't even have my Rabadon yet. What more once I'm able to complete this item? Rabadon is now up and I'm looking to see what's the next item that I could go for. Looking at their items, Irelia has magic resist, but all the rest have nothing to counter me. So I will go for the infinity orb, increasing my overall burst. I clear the red buff going to the raptors and while my ulti is on cooldown, I'm looking for stuff to farm. I see that Scuttle is still up for the taking and then... I look around the minimap to see if there's a lane that I could go for. Irelia's both side overextended, I could go for that. But seeing that there's a fight top side, I look to see if I can catch anyone, place a control ward just in case someone's there, and wait for someone to pass through. Top side is a fight, Gragas is able to bait them, and with me being in the back line, we're able to burst Kha'Zix, 1 HP, look at that burst. Get Ezreal as well. And looking at the mid lane, there should be someone in the side. We see Zed. We poke him 295 crit. Use the charm onto the Seraphine. Look to see if we can catch her. My ultimate is online. Just in case someone wants to try and burst. I have my ulti for an escape. I wait to see if someone wants to CS. Because I have ulti. But seeing that they went back to the fountain, I just go back to the wolves and clear this camp. With the dragon spawning soon, I don't want to go home yet because my item is not yet completed. And seeing the top side, Nasus is fighting the Kha'Zix, got him pretty low. Zed is there, so I try to see if I can burst him down. I go for a no charm all in engage, but Zed does a great job ulting at the right time. He counteracts our ultimate and we live with 1 HP. I have no choice but to go back. With the dragon spawning soon, I need to go there so that we could secure the objective. Seeing the opponents of positioning, Kha'Zix is at the top side, they're trying to catch the Jace, and this should mean that we're gonna get a free dragon. Even though Jace dies, it should be worth it. Kha'Zix is there to help me leash, and Ice Dragon is such a good dragon for Eve because this would lower my cooldowns and the skill that would benefit the most from this would be my ultimate because early levels my ultimate has such a high cooldown and if we were able to stack the ice dragon i would be able to spam this more often we go back to base again we buy the infinity orb and this is gonna be the most scary part if you're facing an eve player the next item i'm going is the propta built enchant it's a lot cheaper now from 800 to 500 this would give me a gap close so I don't need to flash every time and the prota belt will allow me to get closer faster and burst the target faster as well. We take the scuttler, look for people to go for. I could just take the raptors but at this point I'm looking for someone to burst. Seeing that they're at the bot side, I look to see if I can catch someone. They're over chasing which is good for me. I look at the Kha'Zix, look at that, burst him in one combo, one nine for 2 crit and no counter play. The opponents are still overextended. Zed is with 1 HP. Gragas Jace gets kills. He also lives with 1 HP which is really good for us. Most likely this is already GG at this point. The opponents can't do anything. They can't even go out of their base because if they try to go out, I'm just there to burst them. Nasus free farming top. He's able to get the top tower and all I'm doing is I'm just proxying the wave looking for people to catch and I go back to buy my Prota Belt. I wait for them to respawn and then the next item I go for is Void Staff. 
just in case they buy magic resist, I will still be able to one shot them. With Baron up, we could probably just start this and then end. But what I'm doing right now is having fun. I want to catch people and see if I can burst them in one combo without using my charm. Zed is on the side. Q EQ disappeared. Rotabelt. I have my flash. Get a charm to the Seraphine. Get her pretty low. And her with my ultimate. 1.5k damage on my ulti. And my charm didn't even connect that well. Ezreal the only one alive. We burst him in one combo. I think that was only 1e. E, and I did 1k damage onto the Ezreal. With that, their Nexus is exposed. The NMP team surrenders. And new items. Kinda busted on this champion. Once you're able to build the Boots of Mana, get early kills, it's all snowball -y from there. You could just carry the game by yourself. And the opponents will be too scared to go out of their base. Really good gameplay. 82% EVE. We get MVP. That was a perfect game. I think we didn't die. 14-0 and 2. 17k damage dealt. That's crazy. And I hope you guys enjoyed our EVE guide. That's it for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Ciao, ciao.